five. Governor Greg Abbott took questions from people around Texas Thursday night in a town hall event brought to you exclusively here on KETK. The topics range from gun violence to priorities lawmakers tackled during the legislative session. KETK's West Rappaport was there and highlights some key moments for us. For the first time in the history of the state of Texas, a governor has used constitutional authority to create a task force dealing with domestic terrorism. After talking about gun violence for nearly 15 minutes, the conversation shifted to legislative priorities from this year. This last legislative session, what did you and the other lawmakers do to lower our property taxes? Well, well thank you for the question, uh, but I understand your pain. We use more than $5 billion to reduce your property tax rates. On average, across the state of Texas, that will be about a 7% reduction in the first year with an increased reduction in the second year. An audience member pressed him on immigration and spending state dollars on border security. Congress needs to better fund Border Patrol. That will help secure the border. But in, in the meantime, Texas will do everything we can to step up and do our part to secure the border. Understanding this last point, which is hugely important, in Texas, we fully embrace legal immigration. Our job is focused on preventing illegal immigration. As for the future of the Republican Party, Abbott said he does not see Texas turning any color but red anytime soon. Congressman Joaquin Castro provided a Democratic response to the discussion. When it comes to keeping people safe, I didn't hear many solutions. He's got to call the legislature into session to, to pass universal background checks to pass red flag laws, to address issues of mental health. West Rappaport, KETK News. Now, as Governor Abbott entered the stage, hundreds sat eager for the first question. It was no surprise a week and a half after a mass shooting in Texas that gun rights was a popular topic. Many